Hi, this is Alan Wright. Welcome to the Travel Well with Alan video update. Today I'd like to talk to you about at-home COVID testing, which can be very useful for those of you required to get an at-home or get a COVID test if you're going to use it for travel. For example, countries, states, airlines are now requiring COVID tests before you go. And I want to just be clear about definitions here. There are two FDA approved products. One is an at-home COVID collection kit in which you collect the sample and you send it back via the mail to a laboratory. A second one is an actual at-home COVID test where you do the same process, but you can get the results right there at home within 15 minutes, which is amazing. This process, the whole thing, either one, has great benefits. First of all, you don't have to go anywhere. You can do it right from your home. And second of all, you can schedule it easily for any time you want without having to rely on availability in the local community. There are a couple negatives too. One is you have to plan for shipping time if you're using the collection kit and have to ship it back. And the second is the actual reliability. Accuracy is dependent on your ability to do the sample taking well. So you have to pay attention to that. There are many companies that have been approved by the FDA for the collection kits. We've only found two that have been approved for the actual home tests. And we have a sample chart here with five of these companies. The first three are all collection and the last two are tests. Interestingly, for the collection kits, the price is right around $110 to $120. Um, and the key thing to pay attention to is the prerequisite. Some of these like the first one, let's get checked, have a prerequisite of exposure in the community or, or symptoms. But if you're doing this for travel, you probably don't have symptoms. But cases in the local community count as exposure. So that is no problem. The second one is a little stricter. You must have symptoms or a, have a risk factor or be working in a setting with exposure. So if you're at home working, you really don't qualify. If you're working in an office, you do. And the third one apparently has no restrictions whatsoever. And nicely is a saliva test, which because it's PCR is still accurate. Those last two, Abbott Labs and Illum, are at-home COVID tests. Much better. You don't have to ship anything back and then you get the results within 15 minutes. The first one, Abbott, is available now. But you have to be 18 plus and you have to have at least one symptom. The second one from Illum appears to have no restrictions and is available to anybody, but it's not yet available. So we're not entirely sure on that, but it's worth paying attention to. Interesting, the price of the Abbott Labs and Illum ones are much lower, and I'm not exactly sure why that is, but that's great. I did this to test it out so that I could give you a more accurate review. I ordered the Pixel by LabCorp. I had a, a one symptom and so I was able to get it and thankfully tested negative. I found the process easy and great really and I would highly recommend this for travelers if you need to get a COVID test and we are encouraging our travelers to use this as well. I do have a few recommendations however to make the process as best possible. One is Order the test well in advance. It doesn't matter if it sits with you for four days or five days. So order it before you actually need it just to make sure you get it. <clears throat> Second of all, make sure for the collection kits that you know how to get it back. If it's FedEx, make sure you find where you can drop that FedEx as, and it will be on the way as quickly as possible. I took the test in the morning, dropped it off at a FedEx drop box at a local Staples and found out their delivery wasn't even until 3 p.m. Their pickup wasn't until 3 p.m. So I wasted the whole day. Had I found a better place to do this, I could have had this process done faster. Once I did get it to the lab, it only took 15 hours. They do say it can take 24 to 72 hours, so you have to time your test appropriately so that you're doing it when you need to get the results. Finally, make sure you're diligent in that swabbing because that is important that you follow their directions so that the test is as accurate as possible. In summary, I think this is a great process. The at-home collection is great itself. Once those at-home tests become available with no restrictions, that is going to be a game changer for travel because then we can all do it 
at the airport or right at the start of a Zephyr or Taste Vacations tour. So this is really something to be looking forward to as we get better at this testing. Thanks, stay safe.